Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see building the Tesseract OCR 3.05 from source code for Linux operating systems. In today's session, we will see step by step that how to build Tesseract OCR from source code. In this session, we will see that what are the packages that one needs to install to build the Tesseract OCR from source code, as well as we will see that once you have successfully built Tesseract OCR from source code, how to test it. For this purpose, I have prepared this particular document where I have mentioned steps to be followed to build the Tesseract OCR from source code. This document I have uploaded to GitLab repository and the link I have provided in description box. Also, to prepare this tutorial, to prepare these steps, I have utilized all these links. The very first step to build the Tesseract OCR engine from source code is to install the required libraries, to install the required packages. As I have mentioned, we are going to utilize Linux operating system to build the Tesseract OCR from source code. Hence, over here, I have provided the instruction to be followed up on Linux operating system. Again, Linux has different flavors like Arc Linux based operating systems, Debian based Linux operating systems, hence the command to install the required packages, to install the required libraries will be very, they will be different. For example, if you want to build the Tesseract OCR on Arc Linux based operating systems, then the command to install the required libraries will be this. In case if you want to build the Tesseract OCR on Debian or Ubuntu based operating systems, in that case, the commands to install the required libraries will be this one. So based on the Linux operating system and its flavor, the commands will be different. Once you have installed the required libraries, the next step is clone the repository and start to build from source. So as I have mentioned, we are going to utilize Tesseract OCR 3.05 and we will build it from source code. So I will clone that particular repository. I will clone that particular branch. So you can uh, go to this particular repository. Okay. It will contain the main branch and all the required code. So it will be latest branch containing the required code to build Tesseract OCR from source. But from this particular branch, we are going to utilize this 3.05 named branch to build the Tesseract OCR 3.05 from source code. Once you have cloned the repository, the next steps are you need to go to that particular directory or folder and then you need to execute all these commands one by one in that particular order. So once you have executed all these commands, you have successfully built the Tesseract OCR 3.05 from source code. So then you are ready to use Tesseract OCR. Once you have successfully built Tesseract OCR from source code, the last step and important step is to download required train data files. In my case, I am going to download only English data file, English training data file. But in case if you want to download another language training data files, you need to mention it as well. So all that what we are going to do is we need to go to this particular directory user local share test data and over there we need to execute this command sudo wget and then URL of the English training data. I will go to this particular link. Okay, over here this Tesseract training data is for latest Tesseract OCR, but we want Tesseract training data for version 3.05. So for that purpose, uh, over here they have provided the Tesseract 3.05 training data files link. So we will go to this particular link and from this link, we will download required language training data file. So in my case, as I have mentioned, I want to go with only English training data files. But in case if you want to download any other language training data file, you can go to this particular 
URL. So this URL is for 3.04 and 3.05. So here you can uh, get the training data files for all the different languages. Okay, and once you have downloaded it into that uh, particular directory, now you are ready to test it using this particular command. Okay, so this std out means I want the output on my terminal only. If I have provided any other option, then in that case the output will be accordingly. Means it has been written at some place like that. So first of all, what I will do is I will open my terminal and first of all I will confirm that Tesseract has not been there on my system. Okay, so at present Tesseract is not there on my system. The next step is what I will do is I will install the required libraries, required packages. So I will copy all these commands and paste it in my terminal. Okay, and we will wait for a few minutes till the required libraries are being installed. Once the required libraries, the required packages have been installed, the next step is to clone the repository. So I will clone the required branch of Tesseract OCR to build it from the source. So over here, as you can see, we are going to clone branch 3.05. Once the required repository has been cloned, the next step is to go to that particular directory. So uh, you can see over here, I have got this new folder or directory tesseract ocr so i will step into that particular directory in that particular folder okay so this is the content of that particular folder then next step is to execute this command autogen.sh so i will paste it over here within that tesseract directory or tesseract folder okay so now at present you can see that i have got this error lib toolize or glib to lies uh, is not found in the path so uh, i will try to fix it you can see that the error is already there on tesseract ocr uh, github issues page so we will check the solution okay so what i need to do is install this particular library so i will go to my terminal to so have to install automake and lib tool i will wait for a few minutes to install the automake and lib tool libraries so once these two libraries called automake and lib tool have been installed i will re-execute the command okay once this step has been done i will copy this command and will execute it okay now you can see that we have successfully executed the configure command i will again request that before going for building the tesseract ocr from source code make sure that you have installed all the prerequisite libraries so now i will use this command make we will wait for a few minutes till the make command is being executed okay once make command has been executed successfully we will go to the next step and run this particular command once particular command has been executed successfully, we will go to the next step and run this command. Okay, then I will use this command. Once the command has been successfully executed, we will run the last command. As you can see that, so now we have executed all these command successfully. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to go to this particular directory so uh, first of all i will show you that tesseract has already been successfully compiled from source code and now it is ready to use okay so you can see that it is uh, providing the help options now uh, we will go to this particular directory user local share test data now as you can see right now i am in this user local share test data and this is the content of this particular directory as i have mentioned earlier that i need to download training data file so i will download english training data file in this particular directory using this command okay you can find another language training data as well on this particular url so in case let's say if you want to 
uh, download any other language training data as well so you just need to replace this particular url let's say english.train data so eng.train data with the name of that particular language name so for example uh, kor.train data so what i will do is kor.train data and it will download and install that particular file sorry the name is wrong uh, trained data yeah so it will download that particular file okay so you can see that i have got this eng trained data and kor trained data files over here now i will go back to my home directory okay and i will test that tesseract has been compiled successfully and it is providing the result successfully as well copy paste this command over here tesseract test.png std out okay and as you can see that it has successfully provided the text of that particular image so my image is looking like this okay hello how are you this is the text of this test.png file so this is how you can compile the tesseract oci from source code using the steps that i have mentioned and using the prerequisite libraries that you need to install on your linux machine and once you have successfully compiled tesseract oci 3.05 on your linux system you can utilize this particular command or you can use this command to get more help from tesseract command and using those commands you can extract the required details from any image that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video